god. Sheepheadzilla. And most of them are good size. That's another really good one. We have had so much windy weather. It's Joe Antonelli here, and we're gonna be doing something a little different today, getting back to my roots. This is the kind of fishing I grew up doing. And until recent years, it's been a fish that hasn't really hit like, kind of like the, the mainstream or whatever you want to call it. Now it's a fish that's targeted by a lot of people. Um, I got my little reel. It's gonna make for some fun fishing. You can do it on pretty light action. This is my little Tsunami Evic 2000, 10 pound braid, Tsunami Scale Tech rod and a little piece of weeds flying around, but a uh, 1-0 hook, little pinch weight, super simple, but you gotta have the right bait. There's a lot of different stuff that works, anything from oysters, barnacles, uh, fiddler crabs, shrimp, to my all-time favorite, sand fleas. And you see we already got started with one. So I'm gonna be doing a little bit of commercial slash recreational because I want to get a couple for myself but we're gonna see if we can get enough sheep said to make it worth selling a few I got some some people that want to buy some right now so I'm gonna switch over to the action hat stuff my other Janto gear hat down there shameless merch plug all right what am I going on here let's get this going and you can do this all over bridges docks mangroves I just kind of tucked away on some rocks right now. Hook up. Oh, accidentally pulled his face off. My bad. Try that again. Hook up a nice little sand flea. We're just gonna pitch him out there. Just, I know there's a bunch of rocks around out there, which is kind of primo area for them. And I'm gonna see if there's any tap tap taps coming out coming on here. It's a fish that's actually pretty difficult to hook. They got really hard mouths, crazy, crazy teeth. And you need a sharp little hook. It's usually what's gonna get the job done the best. But it has to be a strong hook too. They'll bend hooks, they'll uh, fold the tip of the point over. And a lot of people don't even realize that and they're trying to use hooks don't even have points left on him anymore. No gets that cast. Just gonna keep kind of bouncing it around. Oh I got a nibbler. Sheepy that we're after. Let's see where that hook is. Here we go. In the bucket. That is the one we're after right there. Stud sheephead. The rod somewhere safe. Right there. Little 2000 Evict with a stud of a sheepy so that's our first one on video for the day just pop that hook out little hook little pinch weight there he is that's a nice one and they got gnarly gnarly teeth that's about a pound and a half two pounder so not giant but that's a very very nice one we'll go get him in the cooler and then we'll get going with another one of these actually I'm gonna throw a bait out real quick in case there's more around right now we're just gonna pitch right back into the same zone Big one. Another one. Oh, there he goes. 
He was a little guy, but he came yeah. off. All right, so we got a couple around this spot right here. Hooking these fleas through the bottom, out through the top of the shell. Keeper sheep's head, pinch tail, probably about 12 and a half, 13. Wash my hand on the rock. Get my bucket where it needs to go. That's a better one. Yeah. Stud. I thought that was a rock. I wish I brought a little net landing net with me. How do you like that, Colin? Had some video issues there, but we got an absolute giant on. Oh my gosh, that is a stud. That's the one we were wanting. Gonna keep fishing, see if we can get a few more of them. But that is a solid sheep. It's probably like a, I'd say three to four pound sheep's head right there. Smoke the sand flea down on the rocks. Kind of piling these up on top of the hook. There you go. Another good one. <laughs> I'm going and grabbing the line. Sheepy in the bucket. Look at that, barely hooked right there. Forgot my pliers today though. Last thing I want to do is get my fingers stuck in that mouth. Ooh, Colin's on him. There's that jumbo one more time. Not a killer day by any means, but I think we got around 12 or so. And most of them are good size. That's another really good one. Not all of them are on video. It's a pretty repetitive, repetitive fishery, but some good sheepies in the cooler. They got ice under them. They were all on a slush too, and uh, now I got someone that wants these, so I'm gonna go drop them all off. Sheepheads. <laughs>